Hello everybody and welcome back to GSC at Home where we get to bring a little bit of science into your days every day at 10am. I'm Natalie and I am one of the astronomers here in the planetarium at Glasgow Science Centre and I would like to wish you all a very happy spring equinox. In this video I want to have a think about what equinoxes are and well how we get them. As to what they are we can think about the word equinox. It's a Latin word and if we break it down equi means equal and nox means night. So our equinox is when our days have equal length of night and day. We get them twice a year. We get one in the autumn and one in the spring. And they actually signify when our autumn and spring begin. So they're really, really useful. You might note that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, but this is only almost exactly true twice a year on our equinoxes. Throughout the rest of the year, the sun can rise and set above the east and west and below the east and west, depending on what time of year it is. To think about that a little bit more, we're going to show you some of our visuals from our planetarium so we can see where that really comes from. So here we can see our planet Earth, and our planet Earth is actually always moving. We don't always think about it, but it's moving all the time, even though we can't feel it. First of all, it's spinning around. We spin around once a day every 24 hours, and that is where we get our days from. Sometimes we're facing towards the sun, and that is our daytime, and when we're facing away from the sun, it is our nighttime. And we spin around on what we call our axis. And our axis is what you might imagine the middle of a wheel to be. It's a line that connects our North Pole to our South Pole that we spin all the way around. But we're not just spinning around, we're actually going around the sun as well. We're moving around the sun, as we can see here. And it takes one year for our planet Earth to go all the way around once. That's where we get our years from. But you might notice, I've drawn our axis on, it's this blue line you might be able to see, and we're actually not going around the sun straight up and down. We're tilted over a little bit. We're tilted about 23 degrees, our axis. And this means that sometimes we're tilted away from the sun, sometimes we're tilted towards the sun. We live in the Northern Hemisphere, so when we're tilted towards the sun, the sun is much higher in the sky, it's got much less of our atmosphere to get through, and it means we have much warmer days, and longer days as well. And this is our summer. When we're tilted towards the sun the very most, we call this our summer solstice, and it's the longest day of our year. On the other side, when we're tilted away from the sun though, it is our winter, because it's much lower in the sky, our sun, it's got much more of our atmosphere to get through, and it means it's much chillier, and our days are a lot shorter. And when we're tilted away from the sun the most, that is our winter solstice. Looking at our video, see if you can maybe figure out where our summer and our winter solstices might be. So between our two solstices, between the summer solstice and the winter solstice, we actually get two days where the night and day are of equal length. And these are our equinoxes, one in the autumn, one in the spring, just like today. And you might also think that other planets, they have these as well. And that is true. It's not just our planet that has a tilt, other planets do as well. In fact, Venus is tilted 180 degrees. It goes upside down, which is amazing. And Uranus is tilted almost on its side. It rolls around the sun. This means that spring on Uranus actually takes 21 years, and I would not like to wait that long for our summer here. If you've got any more questions about our equinoxes, please feel free to tweet at us at GSC Planetarium. We would love to answer your questions, and hopefully you can appreciate what our spring equinox is now. Thank you so much for joining us here at GSC at Home, and we'll see you tomorrow at 10am for another bit of science.